All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad today to have my, one of my partners in here, uh, Mr. Jerry Harris. And Jerry uh, is one of the, the three musketeers over here at P-Head Productions. And he is the what a horse guru, the man, the man who, uh, well, the man who's, who came in and brought the walking horse into our production facility and been doing it for how many years now, Jerry? 22. 22 years that we've had the show What a Horse on the Air. And Jerry, uh, as, as do a lot of the people in the walking horse industry, have disagreements with the government about how these horses are judged and how the, the vets or who have DPQs or who have, whatever you call them come in and say which one which one gets to play and which one doesn't get to play. That is a major concern, the, the judging. If we oh, we yeah, can fix the happy. judging. It's the inspections that really now, and, and everybody needs to understand the Horse Protection Act is a good law. Right. Now it's a good law. And at the time that it was put into effect, it was needed. But now that was back in the 70s, 1970 to be exact. A lot of things have changed. That horse is dead. The majority of those trainers are no longer in the industry. We have new trainers. Sure. We have younger trainers. And the horses that are being presented now, it, it's just a travesty that we have government officials and, and it's supposed to be professional equine veterinarians supposed to be right they come in and and they completely rewrite the scar rule they rewrite everything about the horse protection act to fit an agenda this weekend we had the fast had their show now fast now tell you know, tell us what fast is fast is the it's the group it's the foundation for the advancement and support of the Tennessee walking horse which means they they raise funds to help us defend ourselves there was a lawsuit filed against the USDA because of rulemaking their inspection processes the way they do it and the fact that that they misquoted or, well, they falsified their findings. And there was a 61 page reply written to them about this, pointing out the different times that they had falsified their records. If you look up Penal Code 32, you're going to find that falsifying government records is a felony. Well, we filed a lawsuit against them for what they've done. And since then, this year, when they come in, they, they've come in like gangbusters. Number one, the USDA has sent two women in that have the highest turn down ratio. There's your penal code right there, section 132. They have the highest turn down ratio of anybody in the in the, in the, in the government all right one of them even made a statement to a lady and this was sent to me in a text message a message that she was going to take a certain trainer down no matter what that i mean that shows the agenda they have but to, to give you an idea of how far they will go. If I told you that there was a scar here that was only two or three cells thick, what would you say to me? In all honesty, what I, I, unless you got a magnifying glass, you can't see a cell. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I don't think with a magnifying glass you can see a cell really. But th this is what we what we get. Sh show this video. When you can feel the roll of the top of it, that's that's a scar, even if it's only two or three cells thick. You see, that's what we have to put up with. That was 
That was a equine vet that works for the United States government, which tells me one thing, they couldn't make a living out here in the regular world, so they went to work for the USDA. <laughs> now, he's, he's telling a trainer that there's a scar there even though it's only two or three cells thick. That's what these other breeds, if they ever get us, these other breeds better look out for that. Well, that was gonna be my next question, is does any other horse shows in the United States get this kind of treatment other than the walking horse? No, however, they use other breeds to attack us. Like they say, well, this doesn't happen these breeds, there's only one problem. They don't check those breeds, so they don't know. But once, if they ever get the walking horse, John, then the saddlebreds, the Morgan, the Pasifinos, even down to the quarter horses, they're all going to be under the gun. They think that they're out there, they're safe. They're not. This weekend, this is how bad it got. People were honestly afraid to take horses up there, even though they knew they were in perfect condition. Most people have their horses inspected by an equine vet before they go to show. I know I do. But here is a video of a horse that they turned down for being sore because it had a field scar under its knee. You can see it up there, how high it is. That even, they're supposed to inspect the pasterns. But they turned this horse down for a injury that happened six months ago. And gave now, it when a, you say field score, that means when they're running around out yeah, in the field. Yeah, when they're out in the field. Yeah. Or it, it could happen in the stall. But it's not even close to where the pasture is. And they turned that horse down in, on a federal ticket now, which means that trainer that led that horse up there and the owner, they're looking at a federal charge because the horse had an injury that had nothing to do with the, the Horse Protection Act. The, that's how, how far their agenda has gone and how far they have overstepped the HPA. That's like a, if we're going down the street down here, the speed limit out there is 30 miles an hour. We come up through there 20. They give us a ticket. They say, I don't care what, what that says. I'm giving you a ticket for doing 40. That's where we're at. It makes the truth it has lost complete vision. There is no more truth to anything. It's just, you do it, this is it. There ain't nothing you can do about it. And that's what the walking horses fight. So. Join the fight. Join the fight, people. You, you, these other breeds, they better be looking at what's happening to us because as I've heard so many times before, you're next. You might as well get ready for it. You are next. They're going to go down the line. It's going to be like dominoes. Because if they ever get us, then every gated breed it makes no difference who you are. They're going to get you. And I'm, that, that's it. And they don't care how they get you. I think that, well, they've proven that this week. Yeah, they did. Jerry Harris, my partner, talking about the walking horse. Go see a show. Go watch and see what's going on. Read your paper. Be involved.